Hi guys, in the last video we gathered some data from a Polygon of Forces laboratory. So now I've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six little dots and um, I'm going to use these to construct a Polygon of uh, Forces. So first I will create a free body diagram and what that is is we'll just connect these little lines. So one, two, our little dots. One, two, and then these ones. One, two, and these two as well. What we should see is they um, all line up to one single point, approximately. Um, we would call that point the point of concurrency. So let's see if this um, gets us to the same place. So uh, pretty close. Um, so here we've got um, a single point where our three forces are acting through. Now, um, in the experiment we have uh, weighed the amount of uh, mass. And so um, the mass on the center portion here was uh, 260 uh, grams. The mass on the right hand side was uh, 314 uh, grams. And on the left hand side was 312 grams. Now from each one of these forces we can calculate, um, sorry, each one of these masses we can calculate the force. So the force here going down would be uh, 0.260 grams multiplied by 9.81 and the downwards force going down here will be equal to 2.55 newtons. Going towards the right we have 0.314 multiplied by 9.81 so towards the right we have 3.08 uh, newtons and going upwards uh, towards this left hand side we have uh, 312 sorry, 0.312 times 9.81 and this is equal to 3.06 newtons Okay, so this system here is what we call a free body diagram. Um, we've replaced uh, the body with a single po uh, point and we see the forces that are acting on that um, body. Uh, we could also uh, draw the, the hoop that was here, but I'll be just representing this as a single point. Okay, so the next step is to create what we call a polygon of forces. Um, I'll cover that in my next video. Thank you.